We hate to burst your bubble, but this particular line of work isn't about sex, fancy cars and three-piece suits. First I have some unfinished business to attend to. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Myths. In today's instalment we're counting down the top 5 myths about spies. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Come along as we dismantle some of the biggest myths about spies perpetuated by Hollywood over the years. Number 5. Spies kill each other all the time. Second is... There's nothing quite like a little spy on spy action. Two highly trained professionals locked in a battle to see who can off the other one first. Sadly, that's a movie trope, not reality. Modern intelligent agencies actually avoid killing the competition whenever possible. What did you tell them? Everything. If captured, a spy may be interrogated for information, but it's in their enemy's best interest to keep them alive. You violated the only absolutely inviolate rule of international relationships. And why? So you could kill a nobody. We wanted to question him, not to kill him! The logic is simple. Kill one of ours and we'll respond accordingly. A spy's death would set off a lethal domino effect, not to mention a bureaucratic and political hellstorm. However, when dealing with members of a criminal organization or terrorists, well, things admittedly get a little murky. Number 4. There's no paperwork Think about your favorite spy movie. At any point, do you see Bond, Bourne or Hunt sitting behind a desk furiously typing up a report? How about signing a work contract or filling out a medical insurance form? Fat chance. The insurance company is never going to believe this. According to Fred Russman, who was a member of the CIA for over two decades, roughly 90% of international espionage is paperwork. Real spies get their kicks from typing up reports that will put bad guys behind bars. We hate to be the bearers of bad news, but the life of a spy involves a lot more documenting than leaping from buildings as things explode in the background. Number 3. A Badass Solution Trumps Protocol He wouldn't be James Bond if he didn't trigger the odd explosion at an embassy or serve the occasional tsunami. Unfortunately, outside of film, the world of espionage is inundated with bureaucracy and regulations. While fighting a bad guy atop a moving train or dismantling a terrorist cell without authorization sounds awesome, it would probably get the spy in question fired. Sorry. I'll shoot the camera first next time. Or yourself. Think about it like this. Governments spend millions of dollars developing human assets for fieldwork. Should one decide to ignore protocol in favor of paragliding off a skyscraper, their benefactors stand to lose more than just a rebellious agent. That's a major investment that just went out the window. I drove a car off a freeway on top of a train while I was on fire. Not the car. I was on fire. Jesus, you're intense. Number two, they drive fancy cars. Imagine for a moment that you're a spy operating in an impoverished country. Your goal is to blend in, be one with your surroundings, and most importantly, avoid raising suspicion. Now, do you really think that cruising around in a drop-top Benz, a smoking hot Ferrari, or an elegant Aston Martin is the best way to accomplish the aforementioned goals? Nope. Discipline, Damlo Discipline. A spy's car will be appropriate to the situation. If they're going undercover at a high society function, they may very well wind up driving a luxury vehicle or sports car, but more often than not, they're probably cruising in a beige sedan with good gas mileage. Number one, they have a license to kill. Just the thing for unwinding after a rough day at the office. Need I remind you, 007, that you have a license to kill, not to break the traffic laws. Let's put this colossal myth to rest once and for all by saying, spies don't have a license to kill. Contrary to what the James Bond franchise would have you believe, a spy can't just saunter up to whomever they like and end the person. The role of a spy is first and foremost to collect information. And maybe this goes without saying, but trying to gather intelligence from someone after you've killed them seems… counterintuitive? In fact, many agents will go their entire careers without even firing their weapons. That is a far cry from 007, who has mowed down hundreds of people during his tenure at MI6. But hey, you gotta sell those movie tickets. The name's Bond. James Bond. So which of these myths did you believe? 
Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.